going on guys? Welcome to the Q&A. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the 10 questions that this girl named Vanessa Jules actually sent me um, <clears throat> on Instagram. So I said, why not? Let's do a Q&A uh, for these small meal prep businesses. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are out there trying to start your own meal prep business and you don't know what to do, right? Uh, how do I go from commercial kitchen? or from the home to a commercial kitchen and there's like a lot of questions that a lot of people ask but this is Vanessa um, and she reached out to me um, so I'm going to be doing the Q&A. <clears throat> so welcome to the Q&A. Number one, what do I need to do that I'm not doing? So <clears throat> if you are trying to start a business in general, I don't care what it is, whether it's a fitness business, a meal prep business, um, you have to split it up into three departments. Um, so what you're not doing, so I know there's a lot of things to do, but the one thing that you should do is split it up into departments. Um, marketing, finance, and then operations. If you have those three things, you can actually delegate a couple people to do the marketing, right? So if you need a photographer, or a videographer, or a social media manager, right? Bam, that's marketing. Okay, now I'm, I'm in finance, money in and money out. Okay, what do I need to do um, for you know, all the um, expenses, right? Uh, there's accounts receivable, there's accounts payable, there's so many things that have to do with like the receipts, where to keep them, um, how to track profit and loss statement, right? So you have to, bam, zone yourself into the finance, right? And then there's the operations, right? So how are things done? Is there a standards operations manual? Is there a things, is there a, is there a document that states, this is the way something is done and you know that is the way no matter what so you have to have kind of like the business plan and everything that's kind of like structure and all that standards operations procedures right so that's one side so marketing operations <laughs> operations and finance um, split it up um, <clears throat> if you get a little overwhelmed okay and then two okay so what do I need to do what do I need to be doing to gain more clients? Well, my friend, that is marketing. Marketing and sales is how you get more clients. I highly, highly suggest you put a lot of marketing dollars into um, marketing, advertising, uh, a lot of Instagram. If you can funnel a little bit you know, of like money towards Instagram, like account management or a photographer for the you know, Instagram, I highly, highly suggest you guys do that. Um, just because you want the first thing people look at online is how it looks if it's presentable if it's clean concise everything looks the same kind of like you know has high contrast pictures um, <clears throat> that is just the way marketing is and if you guys can understand that people want to see clean stuff because if they buy into like crappy um, you know photos or stuff like that if your Instagram looks kind of messy doesn't have consistency they're not gonna really get more engaged because it's like buying something that's crappy looking you're gonna get crappy results right so if you have something that's clean crisp concise it looks like there's a lot of effort being put into it I highly suggest you put um, <clears throat> some investment money into that so you can get a return on investment Hiring a videographer and a photographer is going to bring you a lot more money in, right? So it's a lot of putting your brand out there, okay? So that's how you uh, pretty much gain more clients, okay? So number three, how do I maintain my clients? And she says the Nico perspective, okay, to gain more clients, um, <clears throat> yeah, or she says, yeah, how do I maintain my clients? So the way you have to maintain your clients, basically, in my perspective, it's all about quality over quantity, right? Um, it's, a, it's a lot about giving the best to the people who are easy to work with too. Um, so it's both good for the client and the business. And I feel like um, if you, you know, have that kind of like sense of like, I'm gonna give my best to this individual and then this individual one at a time, uh, versus like I'm just gonna get as many people as I can no matter what okay you want to get that you want to get this you want to get that you want this no I'm like okay number one I'm gonna focus on you and you only for this exact hour all right bam lock them in get all the clients for them all of that because the moment you 
gain too many, now you're gonna be like 1%, 1%, 1%. Do you wanna do that or do you wanna be the top in the game for one person, right? Okay. Four, or, yeah, I'm like four. Four, um, you mentioned shrinkage in your manual. Could you elaborate more? Of course, uh, shrinkage is all about your meats that shrink on average. So an average chicken breast shrinks around 30%. Um, shrinkage rate literally means how much the raw amount comes, like when you cook it, and then it shrinks down 30%. So a one pound chicken breast will yield, so it's all about yieldage, so raw yield, so one pound will yield, bam, it'll shrink down 30%, and you will have 0.70 pounds of chicken. So a one pounder would be equal to a 0.70 pounder of chicken, okay? Um, so on, on average, it's around 30 to 50% basically on how you cook it. Ground turkey is 30%. Uh, any like kind of ground meat is 30%, but then if you grill chicken, it decreases 50%. Um, if you boil it, it's 30%. So you have to be careful in your conversions. I would highly, highly suggest that you write it down like a freaking lab scientist, because that's what I did, um, and literally have a log like one week, Chicken was cooked with grilled. It was grilled for two to three minutes per side and then it was baked for 20 minutes. Okay, the shrinkage was, bam. Okay, the shrinkage was 50%. Okay, the next week, let's do it again. Boom, and then you check your log. Did you cook it the exact same way, your standards and procedures, right? And then bam, you'll, you'll notice and then you'll just get good at it. It's, it's, it's all about getting good. Um, through time, like you do something enough times, you can kind of get like the feel of it too. So number five, what should I really be doing with the money the clients pay me? Okay, so when, when your clients pay you, you have to have a budget allocation process, right? You have to have basically <clears throat> a way to budget all the dollars. So 30% goes to food cost, 30% goes to marketing, um, and then I have here like 25% goes to labor cost. Um, and then you basically have to budget and then like the rest goes towards me, towards my bank account because I need to live, you know? Um, so that's just a couple things that, you know, um, that you would do, okay? So number six. So yeah, that would add to like 30, 60, 70, 76, 75%. Yeah, and then 25% goes to probably, I don't know, somewhere like labor or something like that. Um, and then six, okay, number six. What do I need to be doing to grow revenue? Obviously, you need to put that into sales and marketing. How the hell are you going to get people in without sales and marketing, right? Um, sales and marketing gets you a lot of clients, right? Because marketing gets people to look at your stuff and it's to spread out the word. So how else do you think you're gonna get sales, right? It's through the marketing. Put a lot of money towards marketing. It's called the return on investment. It's called the investment process. Invest in something that's gonna make you money tenfold down the road, 10X, right? So if I spend money on social media manager, my money is gonna get returned back, all right? Um, so yeah. Number seven, how can I start Start prepping my, she wrote it wrong. Okay, how can I start prepping myself now to achieve the ultimate goal of owning my own commercial kitchen? Okay, so if you wanna own your own commercial kitchen, you have to do the research yourself, but I do consulting also, so I'll put the link below um, <clears throat> for meal prep cons consultation. Um, but basically, if you want to own your own commercial restaurant, it's gonna take a lot of initial startup capital, um, but I wrote here that um, you need to start with a team. All right, guys, a company is nothing without their team. Um, so you have to have people who are on the same vision and the same board and same uh, value as yourself um, because you want to be able to create a culture in that team. And um, <clears throat> Billy Gina's marketing actually taught me this. He says that if you want someone to work with you, you have to um, <clears throat> create that culture. You have to create a culture that everyone likes to be around. So that's like um, saying, if you wanna to go to Disneyland, right? Or no, okay, so, so like this. 
if I go in a car, right, and I'm in a car, and I say to a random stranger, hey, come in the car, right? Do you think they're gonna come in the car? No, because like, why would they? they? Do they have a reason? So it's like your own business and say, hey, work for me. It's like, okay, why do I need to work for you? And you say, I'm going to Disneyland. And then they're like, holy shit, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll come in the car and then, you know, let's, let's go to Disneyland, man. Um, that right there is saying, damn, I believe in your vision of where we're going, so that way they want to work with you. The money doesn't even have to be a problem now, see, because they put in their mind their vision of where they want to go. So you as a business owner must be like, I'm going to you know, take this company into the freaking stratosphere. Like, I know where we're going, but it's going to take a couple steps. You know, are you willing to grind with me? You know, so you have to put that in their head. Um, that's when you create a team. So if you want to go to a commercial kitchen restaurant and own it, sell the vision. Sell like I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking make a commercial kitchen in less than three months. Are you on board with me or not? Because this train is leaving. So you gotta be like that. Okay, that's how I think you should go to a commercial kitchen. Okay. Any questions you have for me? I put down a lot of questions for her because I have a lot of questions because she's trying to start a meal prep business and it, it, it takes a lot of time, money, and effort. Uh, so I asked her this. I said, uh, have you started a meal prep business before or have you started an actual business before? Um, do you have initial startup capital funding runway for this? Because you do need a lot of money for that. Um, I highly, highly suggest having more than like $5,000 to start like a meal prep business because you're gonna need a lot of marketing, um, a lot of uh, like like materials you need. It's not a business that you can make money right in the beginning just by not investing in like, having an initial seed capital. You have to have that. You're a food business. Think about it guys, you're a food business. Do you think you can start a food business with no money? Come on, you have to have seed money. You have to have enough money allocated for marketing, right? Okay, I have $2,000 for marketing. Where am I gonna put it, right? So you have to have that mindset, okay? Whether you need money or not, you do need a GoFundMe like video, something that is gonna represent the who are you, what you do, why you do it, and how the hell are you doing it better than everybody else? Because everyone else is trying to start a meal prep business, I, I kid you not, right? But what makes you different, right? Are you gonna compete on price? Or are you gonna compete on quality? Or are you gonna compete on branding? Like you have to have a differentiator. I always thought it was cliche that, you know, oh, I'm just, I don't have to have a differentiator. I can look like everyone else. But there's so many people out there there's so many options, why the hell am I gonna buy from you? Right? So you have to have something that's different. Ours, mine was motivation. Mine was a motivation brand, Motivates Meal Prep, right? So it talked a lot about, yeah, motivation and the Instagram was talking a lot about motivation and, you know, so if you're a meal prep company, start a differentiating, why are you different, okay? Okay. Kind of went on a rant there. Um, okay, I also asked her what's her target market, and also in exactly one year from now, what does your company look like financially? What does it look like, um, you know, company-wise? How many employees are you gonna have in exactly one year? Because what that does is gets you in your mind and thinking like, okay, in a year from now, I know that I'm gonna be there, but now I'm gonna backtrack and see what I have to do to get there. All right. Um, Okay, number nine, any constructive criticism you have for me uh, based thus far on the conversation for, for uh, meal prep clients, etc. Okay, so this is pretty fun. Um, I said, clean up your damn Instagram account, please. Um, marketing, 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 marketing. I can't stress it enough. Have high quality contrast photos. It is, there's a study done that you, that, that consumers buy on average um, on high contrast photos and video. Um, think about a thumbnail on, on YouTube. You don't click it, right? 
unless you see that's a really good thumbnail, right? You're like, oh, that looks pretty interesting. And then the title's really good, right? So please, please, guys, invest in like a photographer or get a buddy that knows how to take high quality contrast photos, that knows how to do editing or learn it yourself, whatever it may be. But please, you have to look great on digital, on online presence, super key. Um, number 10, after this call, what's next? I said I have a surprise for her, but on this video, if you're still watching, thank you. Go ahead and give this a thumbs up uh, or comment below any questions. I will answer them probably in another video, but here you go. Um, so I do meal prep consulting and I'm partnering with a uh, marketing firm and we are going to create, or it's actually already in the process. Um, so there's a marketing, kind of like they deal with the Facebook ads, they deal with the Instagram um, account management, um, and then the videos, all of that into one package. And then there's me as the meal prep consultant who basically gives you the guidelines, the operations, the procedures in place uh, you know, to actually scale your meal prep business. So there's two, marketing and there's me, operations. So literally all you're doing is finance. So we offer that package. Um, but there is a one hour consultation in the link below. I'll put it here. Um, <clears throat> it's a one hour consultation call with me. Um, and I tell you all about operations and then, you know, the marketing, you could buy that if you want. I don't know if you, you know, really need it, but if you do need it, if you're not good at Instagram, Facebook advertising, not good at getting clients and stuff, go ahead and purchase that because that's really helpful. Okay. <clears throat> it's another kind of like department you don't have to worry about. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's like website design, logo design, all of that branding. Okay. Number 11. Um, after this call, what can I do to implement it now? Okay, and that was all the questions, but I told her this. I said, after this call, or after even after this, here's what you guys should do. Five core things you must do during the day, and you must complete those five things. So if you're overwhelmed with all this stuff, right? I have marketing to do, operations, finance, all this. Holy crap, I'm getting like, you see all this, right? So in order to declutter all that, you must do your power list. It's by Andy Frisella. I don't know if you guys know who the hell Andy Frisella is, but Andy Frisella is the CEO of First Form Nutrition. This guy says, have five things you do for the day and get it done. So if I need to call a friend, I need to reach out to a freelancer for logo design. I need to find that photographer. I need to go work out and then I need to eat my meals. Five things, but focus on those five because you have all this damn crap coming around, but you need to write it down in your phone, your notes. So I want you to take your phone out right now. I want you to open up in notes and I want you to write power list in, in capital. Okay. Like that. I don't know if you can see that. It says power list. And then right in here, you can tap here where it, it says, a list, so it's gonna be one, and then enter, and then it'll continue. Um, and yeah, have five things you need to do per day, and check it off, and you'll have that great fucking feeling of being like, damn, I finished something, instead of like, holy crap, I need to do all this stuff. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't. If you guys really enjoy this, please let me know in the comments below. And we'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace.